Hey, Mohammed, IFL TV, MTK Global. We're in Johnny Nelson's apartment in Los <laughs> Angeles. Yeah, that's how I roll. It's my penthouse apartment. There's my pool. Uh, Who, Jake? <laughs> <laughs> there's my pool. There's my. Uh, there's my. Uh, uh, my my residence for our guests. So, you know, make yourself home. <laughs> we are Get at a hotel. Drink. Get the boy coffee. All right. <laughs> Oh, you got a nice gym in there as well. Yeah, got my open air fridge there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're in a hotel. Um, <laughs> wow, last night was different, wasn't it? What did you uh, make of it all? You know, I was saying all week, and, and, and a lot of boxing fans were were s s giving it stick because we're basically put, they thought we were putting KSI and Logan in the same category as your Billy Joe Saul and Devin Haney. That wasn't the case. Uh, You've got to give it to KSI and Logan for getting the numbers in. Uh, and that was the whole point. So basically, if you had two novices on the bottom of a bill, and, and they usually box about three o'clock, nobody sees them. They're the novices. But the ones that sell tickets, they're the ones that, that'll get there when the crowds are in. Mm -hmm. KSI and Logan sell more tickets than the world champions. So therefore, the, the crowd, if you looked around the crowd, the crowd were like, there were posses of like 15 and 16-year-olds old, walking them out in little suits, gold chains on and, and white shoes. It was just a completely different crowd. They were the ones that brought the crowd in. So so I understand what Eddie was doing. Eddie, Eddie's saying, right, you know what? We've got to somehow capitalize on the back of this. Uh, and, and, and fighters need to, to, to understand. Times have changed. So what you've got to do now is thinking of a, a way that you can attract the same amount of audience of, of, of KSI and Logan do. So you've got to be more, uh, uh, Media, social media friendly. You've got to, you've, you've got to create a, a, a fan base, a following. That's what these guys have done. That's the only reason why. Uh, nobody's saying that these guys are in the same category of a, 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 a seasoned boxer or even even a novice boxer, because between the three of them, they've had between the two of them, they've, they've had three fights. So, but the event itself, I must admit, it was actually entertaining. It was actually the more entertaining fight. Have all the fights, even though we had skill on the on, on the bill with with Haney and, and Saunders, their fight was entertaining, uh, and it's not just about the fight itself; it's about the effect it had on the audience. And and half of them they weren't boxing fans, but they were going mad when a, a, a punch would go miss uh, 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 would miss. They'd be going mad, uh, but it was just a nice a nice box of anticipation mm. uh, when the fight was on. Six rounds, six three minute rounds. It was good. It was all right. I enjoyed it. Mm. I actually did enjoy it, and and. I was trying to be reserved because I thought I don't want to sell out here, man. This is, but I actually enjoyed it. Um, it was funny. I took it for what it was. Um, and uh, so, if you're going to get sucked into any of this foolishness, like when they were saying that, they're going to be world champion or be a boxer, don't fall for that stuff. But I, I thought it was good entertainment. What have the Sky team said about it the morning after? They again, it was good entertainment. That's it. Uh, my worry was that um, uh, of losing credibility. Mm. Uh, by bigging it up like we'd be bigging up AJ Ruiz or bigging up, I don't know, uh, Callum Smith or something like that. We, I, it was never going to happen. That was never going to happen. You know, I would never put myself in that position. I'm, I'm quite sure Sky wouldn't want me to either. There was an event. We were doing our job to present an event. Uh, they used people that were that understood the fight game to present the event. I actually think, you know, for a lot of the youngsters, the, 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 the YouTubers, they probably should have used something like, I don't know, Jake. You know, Jake, that's what he does. He knows that world. I don't know that world. So it was something new to me. Um, um, and it was something very foreign. I have to learn along the way. Uh, and maybe the kids could relate more to him than they could to me. Or maybe they relate to me because they thought he's done it. So he must know what he's talking about. I didn't disrespect them. I didn't disrespect our sport. Sky didn't either. Uh, it was what it was. And it was good business. Say you're an upcoming professional youngster yeah. or even an amateur right now let's just say let's just say you were 16 right now right yeah. flying touted for big things after seeing that would you set up your own youtube channel do your without own self-promotion without a doubt that is that is just that is the way forward any fighter coming through now if you look at what ksi logan did if you cannot see that is a way forward you are mad they them boys got paid mad money you know what I mean? If you cannot see that is the way forward, eventually more people are going to be, more people do this than, than pick, look, watch TV. More people would, would that, that's, that's, so it's been like that for the last five, ten years. 
mm. and so now everybody's catching up but and any young fighter coming through if they don't understand that is the way forward that is the the, the secret to, su to success they're mad look at barack obama he won the presidency on on using social media don't that tell you something trump on Twitter? you know what i mean that's what that's and that's yeah. what i'm saying it's just getting onto it getting on board and and we're, we're, we're kind of cavemen uh, in our sport because the sport itself is raw, it's beautiful, it's, it's, it's best, it's the greatest sport in the world. So we've got to just move a little bit with, in the, with the times in regards to promoting ourselves and, and, and individuals in the sport. Well, if you just look at the boxing world, you've got the zone, you've got your SkyGo app, You've got YouTube, obviously IFL dominate that. <clears throat> you've got Twitter, yeah. you've got Instagram. The whole boxing world is just on a mobile phone now. Yeah. So you're, I think you're right. Up and coming boxers have got to take advantage They've of got it. To, do you, have you seen the, the amount of like spats fighters are having now on, on social media? Yeah. Look at look at Fifty Cents and and and, and Mayweather. <laughs> you know that is like it's like tennis, man. And it, but it, it, but it's getting people drawn in, and it, that says it to you. And that's what I'm saying. If I had a young fighter, I'd say, look, make yourself relevant, make yourself known on here. You know, don't make it take over your life, but this is business. Mm. You know, and then that's way that's that's the way forward. Well look at Vidal Riley, phenomenal talent and yeah. Uh, yeah. he's massive on YouTube. Yeah, exactly. And and, and and that's why it was just it was just very, very odd. Uh, but it was a good le good lesson learned in mm. regards to um, uh, a new world. Mm. And it's just the old boys will complain. Yo, I was one of them. I'm like, really? Uh, but it's just how it is. We actually went to a dog for an interview at one point in the show. Mm. And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> it was funny. It was light-hearted. Light Actually, Jake, you were there, weren't you? Yeah, the dog. Yeah. What, what, how did that go? So the dog's like got 1.2 million... Billion? Million. Oh, million. A dog! A dog, you know, a dog! A dog with purple ears, a dog! Come on! It was a good looking dog though. I think it's like he supports Nikita and Barbie's team. So that might help him. It might help his career, like build his following. It was probably swagged out the dog, man. Well, well, well. You know what says it all? I, I, I'm gonna start my own YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. Might be a bit old for the old boys. You're like. You're down with the youngsters. You're, you're, you're related kids in a way that a lot of other box, older boxing people don't. Like that video that you did with Joe Weller, like it was the perfect way for a boxing expert. You know what? To and you know what? That got about what's about one half million views, and it just baffled me. And Joe Weller's a nice guy. With Joe Weller, so Joe boxed uh, uh, KSI uh, at the Copper Box, and he, he and he, he froze, yeah, no. and he got a lot of stick. He got a lot of stick and, and he did his head in. I, and I can tell he did his head in. How, the way he was talking about it. And as he was telling the story, I'm thinking, I could help you, boy. Even if it's not KSI, if it's somebody else, just to come out once, get it over. Because if he doesn't, it's going to affect every aspect of his life. Trust me. I know it sounds really silly. And if you don't understand what I'm talking about, he does. And people that have been in that situation do. Situation do he needs to just, just write that one. Just, I'm not saying get him with KSI. What I'm saying is, you need to get back on the bike get it done then move on because now in his head that will always be niggling in the back of his head mm. and he's got to get over that and I said yo listen let's talk mm. let's link up you you can see his eyes getting by just a, little, a couple of words a couple of movements and he's like it's like he'd just seen day from night it was uh, but yeah so that guy it, I, when we were doing the, the show we saw YouTubers walk past and like kids would flop them and I'm thinking who is it Justin Bieber I don't know who the kid was and that's how it was. It was just a different crowd completely. And these kids had turned up from four o'clock in the afternoon. The fight wasn't till a half past eight, nine o'clock. Mm -hmm. So they weren't boxing fans, you know, because they're thinking, well, what's happening? You know, kids, were little little kids with their mothers, you know, the mothers saying, come on, let's get a pizza like it was a day out at the park. It was a completely different crowd. I actually think the majority of the crowd there were, were, were YouTube fans rather than boxing oh, fans. Oh no, definitely, definitely. Would you like to see this happen regularly, uh, once in a while, not at all, moving forward? I'd like to see it happen once in a while, um, and it can happen. Uh, um, I don't know who the big stars are in, in the YouTube world, apart from Logan and, and KSI. But I'm quite sure there's some rivalries where uh, the fans will pay to follow and watch them. And if, if, say for instance, there was a young lad there last night, or a young girl, 
watching that and they watched the undercard and they were inspired and then years later where he's been interviewed to say yeah I went to see KSI and Logan he used to be a YouTuber and I watched the boxing and I thought I'm gonna have a go at that now I'm champion of the world our job is done if we've just inspired one person in that crowd or the world's media was here all week it was about numbers trust me because most of the people there do not understand the YouTube world the youngsters do but the most of the people I do not understand they understand the numbers what it attracts so they're thinking how can we tap in on this what are they doing what we're not doing that we're not what we're not doing it's about the numbers it was good business and it was actually at the end of the night good entertainment mm. okay uh Billy Joe Saunders admitted afterwards he wasn't best pleased with his performance what did you make of it Johnny uh, I get it he, uh, he got out here on the front on Monday five days he's been out here on the west coast uh, he's mad for even fighting you know I'm getting I'm getting like four and a half hours sleep a night and, and, and it's not enough time. So so that's the panic, but it's the gamble. He's thinking, should I, shouldn't I? So you've got a rating for still going on, carrying on with it. He had visa issues and everything. Uh, felt under the weather. But I'll tell you what would have knocked his duck off. It would have been the fact that he came out here on Monday on the West Coast. You're going to get mash up. You, you, you're not going to be sharp. You're going to be like you're walking in quicksand, like you're drunk. And he's still got to pull the win out. Well, he's better than that. I know Billy's better than that. Yeah, of course, of course. To be fair though, the the knockout reel that's going around on social media, uh, it looks great. So he's, he's done the job really to get that. Yeah, he got he got the knockout. Yeah. And and the other thing was unfortunately it wasn't a boxing crowd, so they didn't appreciate. Uh, um, they 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 didn't appreciate what they, they saw. So there was a little bit of booing around ten, but Devin Haney got bo- booed around the same time, because all all they knew that that crowd knew is trash bang wall up. I want to see somebody getting knocked out, and uh, they don't understand the street science. What's your gut instinct telling you about Billy Joe? Do you think you'll ever land that Canelo fight? I do. Yeah? Yeah. I do. After last night, he was either to put on an amazing performance or a performance where Canelo thought, I want another title and fancied it. And Canelo might look at that and think, that's a great route to picking up another title. Mm. Uh, so I don't think it's, it's hindered his chances. Uh, I think for Billy, he needs a kind of fight where uh, he... he uh, it, there's a threat yeah. of him getting turned over. Like the he's Lemieux set, fight, the Andy yeah, Lee yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's turned, he, and he's, he's 30 years old. He needs to make sure every fight means something. Two weight world champion. Listen, certain fighters need a certain cap, kind of motivation, and he needs to be thrown into the lions mm. where he comes out on top. A lot of people in boxing say that it's a it's a bad style for Canelo Alvarez. Yeah, can you imagine? Mm. Uh, um, uh, and because Billy's he's a southpaw. He's awkward, offensive and defensive fighter. Um, uh, but Canelo, he's got so many sides to his coin. Um, it'd be an amazing fight, mm. uh, regardless. Uh, but Canelo has constantly impressed and improved every time and adjusted every time he's been up against it. I don't know how he fig- figures the puzzle of, of Billy Joe out, though. Mm. Uh, Devin Haney, thoughts on his performance? Devin Haney, now if you say someone's brilliant enough, the best in the world enough, I say it, he says it, everybody else says it, then you believe it. Now, Devin Haney's a, an unbelievable fighter. I don't think he's the fighter people say he is at the moment, but give him time. I've looked at Devin and I thought, the kid's good, but I ain't going to say he's pound for pound the best, because I don't think he is. He's not the finished article yet. And so people be watching this saying, what's Nelson talking about? I'm just, that's a, it's a matter of opinion. But if I keep, if I keep saying to you, he's the best, he's the best, and you keep saying, it, everybody keeps saying it, eventually, the majority of people saying he's the best, and then anybody that said, well, actually, no, he isn't, they all turn against him. You look at the performance, you look at how he boxes, you look at, there's certain things I looked at, there's certain things that he's very good at, but I also know he's not the finished article yet. Mm. And that's it, so right now, potentially he can be, but right now, I don't agree that he's the best pound for pound, I just don't. Okay. Moving away from uh, last night, we've seen uh, clips of Tyson Fury doing MMA training. Go on, Tyson. Good lad. Yeah. Good on him. Do you think he'll enter the MMA? Uh, you never say never with Tyson Fury. Would uh, you like to see him do it or do you want to see him stick to boxing? Not many boxers, if any, have, have been successful at MMA because on their feet, they are brilliant, untouchable. Um, so for us to transfer to MMA, it's not usually successful for an MMA fighter to transfer or so or uh, 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 
a mixed martial arts fighter to transfer from that to boxing. There's only one or two that have managed to get through. And when you get to a certain level, they found wanted. Obviously Klitschko and uh, both Klitschkos, they, that's where they were. And they were struggling for a while and then once they made that adjustment, then, then they were unbeatable. Most of them only get to a certain level, but it's close to the top. For a boxer going into that world, we struggle uh, because you get to the floor um, and that's where we're found wanting. Um, and and I've seen I've seen him do it. James Tony did it. Julius Francis did it. And we'll be good on stood up, bam, bam. You can't touch it. Boom, boom. Get flung down. You're on your back. You got to punch from there on your back off, off the floor. You got to you got to choke. You got to you got to block out. And the thing is, it ain't that easy. You know. So that skill, that that little something you had that made you a special boxer on your feet, um, it's gone. Mm -hmm. uh, so for for Tyson to do it, he'll do it if he if he. Um, if he feels confident enough to do it. Mm. Uh, but it's not just about having one aspect of your fight game. I think, well, if Wilder gets for Ortiz, I, I, I have a feeling that fight will happen, though, that rematch in February. Uh, yeah, but listen, everybody's tied up now, aren't they? Everybody's tied up with different TV networks, which is a shame. Apparently the contracts are signed, though, for February yeah, 22nd. Yeah, yeah, but you see, our, our fight game, you got to look at it and you think, I'd love the fight to happen. And, and I don't believe uh, uh, Wilder's scared of Fury. I know Fury's not scared of Wilder. Okay, again, it's business. You look at the bigger numbers, you look, they, they look at what works and what doesn't work. Is the longevity, do we need that now? We can we make X, Y, Z now instead of putting that fight on now. Mm. Those fighters are, are proper men they want to fight no matter what. Look at Ortiz. Uh, look, uh, look at Wilder fighting Ortiz. When he picked him in the first place, he went up in my estimation because nobody wanted Ortiz. You know, high risk, little reward. But to do it again, you know what I mean? So you, you've got to, you've got to rate round. So don't ever say he's a coward. He custard. You know, if, if he's making decisions, I'm, I'm probably, I'm probably sure it's the, it's the, the, the people in his ear saying do this X, Y, Z. But you know what? They are businessmen because they're good at business. So they do what's best for their fighter. Mm. Spoke to Adam Smith on Monday, and he said that even a uh if Joshua loses that rematch, Anthony said to Adam that he wants to carry on for five to ten years. Would you like to see him do that? Uh, do you think he should do that? Well, he can do, but it'd be a, it'd be a, it'd be very hard to do that. That's so saying it and doing it very hard because um, if you've been at the highest of the high and then you're found wanted and then everybody knows what that that secret is to to to, to that butt to press, then you're going to drop down a bit. Um, Who would he box? He could box anybody. He could box anybody. You know what I mean? There's fighters out there that want to make a name on, on the back of Anthony Joshua. You know, so, so of course, because... But for, um, for, for him, really, how far down would he want to go? As you said, when he, and he's had unification fights and... I do, I do believe what he's saying. Uh, but I actually don't think in reality that would happen. I just think he'll think, I don't need this. Oh, you so know, you think if he loses, he'll call it a day? Um, he'll think strong, strong and hard about it because he's got a lot of other interests outside of our sport. Um, and he's not just a boxer, uh, he's a businessman as well. So he may have one or two fights and then I can see him just saying, I don't need it. You know, he's like, he, in, and listen, that's how he's raising his, his son. He wants his son to, to, to be successful, not just as a sportsman. You know, he wants him to be successful behind the camera, be a CEO or something like that. And, and I think he'll uh, do back by setting an example. He's a wealthy guy. He's not an idiot, an idiot with money. And um, of course, a lot of pride involved. Uh, but I'd be surprised. I'm not saying don't believe him. I'm just saying I'd be surprised. Mm -hmm. OK, Johnny Nelson, thank you very much for your time in Los Angeles. This is the last interview of the trip. Um, you're not coming How long up. How have you been here? I've been on the West Coast since last Monday. Are you coming back for the Wilder fight? Wilder. Are you coming? You coming back? Yeah. I'm Damn. Coming. No, I'm not. Who's doing it for Sky? Uh, Matthew Macklin. Uh, he's coming out with Adam. And then everybody's getting ready for Saudi Arabia. Uh, two uh, huge rematches in the heavyweight you know division. We, we, for boxing over the last this month, it's like mad. If you're a boxing fan, come on, man. You can't. We're being spoiled now. Compared to like six or seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So it's good. It's all good. Man. The more people that, that, that are into showing boxing, the better. The Zone, PBC, you know, BT, ITV, Sky. You know, the only one, obviously, the only one consistent one has been Sky, but that's what is, is thriving. Mm. 
Alright man, uh, yeah, thanks for your time and uh, we'll see you soon. I'm going to do a bit of sunbathing, man. See you there. <laughs>